Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fours. We are playing with the Communist States of America, and we just declared war on the Frenchies and the Italios last episode. So, <laughs> this episode will be the first one that we actually engage in combat against them, because, of course, we did that at the very end of last episode. Uh, so, I went ahead and already assigned our Air Force all of our planes. Uh, we've got a ton of planes in northern France. Put a few in the channel as well, about 1,200 total planes there. Uh, and, yeah, we have... Well, what's that, about 3,000-something planes in northern France for to support our invasions there. Uh, then we also have uh, bombers throughout the Mediterranean. Uh, a lot of these are tactical bombers that are coming up from the north. They haven't quite got here yet. Uh, we do have the naval bombers here and here, though. Uh, and then in addition to that, we got tactical bombers over here providing support there in the western Mediterranean. Uh, we've got a lot of support in uh, the Iberian region. Also, we are focusing on these three regions here. Uh, that's where we're doing the more ground crews. We've got uh, air support and naval strikes here. These are this is an overstaffed base right here, so I don't know how effective the fighters coming from there will be. But we do have fighters here as well. And uh, and then I think the, the close air support are coming from, from Cairo, so not going to reach much. They'll reach the initial combats. Of course, there is uh, not a lot of troops on the border so hopefully we should be able to push through here. I guess we'll find out here soon. Uh, and then we also have troops that are still still moving uh, to this area as well. Uh, this is going to take them a little while to get here, but that's okay. And they have to go through that dangerous Mediterranean as well. So hopefully things don't get too bad there. Uh, but we are going to put our fleets uh, into the Mediterranean. We're going to do all that now. Uh, so I went ahead and pulled out several ships here, including that uh, the, the last level one battleship. Uh, the early battleship that we had, which was the Pride of the Fleet, actually. Uh, I did move that to this fleet here, the Green Fleet, uh, so that these guys can have all new ships, or newer ships. They're all at least 1936 model. Uh, but you'll notice that all of the light cruisers and destroyers are all 1940 models, so they're all newer ships. Uh, so we should have pretty good speed, pretty good range. Uh, we're going to go to get these guys assigned now. They're going to be doing the Strike Force mission, of course. And they're going to be covering the entire Mediterranean, basically, pretty much anywhere. Uh, maybe not the Adriatic, uh, but pretty much all the rest of this. We may even cover the Aegean, in fact. Yeah, I think we'll cover the Aegean as well. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get these guys here doing mine laying. Uh, so they're going to mine up the Mediterranean for us. And then these two fleets here are going to be doing the... Uh, uh, patrols trying to find the enemy out there all right so that's our task guys hopefully they succeed now we do have a submarine somewhere I think they may also be here not entirely sure to I me mean, let's get the green army assigned first remember the green army is gonna be covering uh, the northern region here uh, in the hopes of uh, well I mean we don't really want to engage anybody actually because we're still waiting on the patrol fleet to get a bunch of ships uh, I sent about seven over there so they should have about ten I think although some of them might be coming to this one yeah so they won't even have a full ten uh, so really don't have a lot of a uh, uh, sh uh, sh like escort ships for our um, you know our patrol fleet but we'll go ahead and get them going out there anyways uh, same with these guys let's go ahead and have them do the strike force and then we're gonna have them do it in the English channel and it's probably just gonna be around this area here is what I'm thinking yeah that's probably all they're gonna cover uh, and then these guys will be doing the patrol don't know how well it's gonna work with their three ships Hopefully it goes okay. And then, of course, we have our naval invasion support here for these two ships. Uh, so they'll get going over there. I want to say they're both already here. Yeah, so they should be able to help us cover those naval invasions. Uh, so that's good on that front. Now we need to get these guys assigned. Now, they're currently covering here. I'm just going to say, like, maybe they won't be there, you know? <laughs> that's the hope anyway. And we're going to have them based out of here. And then we're going to have these guys assigned to uh, these three... You know, they're going to have to cover everything. Uh, though it looks like they're not... Yeah, we just eliminated. So what, what I was kind of confused about before, guys, is when it comes to assigning uh, fleets to bases. Uh, if you guys remember, we had that problem with the fleet, you know, kept coming back over here and then, you know, to, to try and cover this region. He had to go all the way across both oceans to get over here and do his damn job. So in the previous version of the game, you'd do control right click in order to select a base. Well, control right click is no longer for selecting bases. Control right click is now for uh, basically saying, I don't want you to do any job. Uh, so every time we do that, that eliminates all their jobs because they, that button has been changed. And on top of that, there is no, uh, there's nothing here in the UI that says where their, their home base is. So I was under the assumption that bases were gone, that you no longer assigned them to a home base and they just 
went to the closest base to him, but now I, I don't know, man. With them going back here, I have no idea how it works. If there is a home base, then why doesn't it say so? Uh, and then on top of that, why can I not assign a, a home base? You know, right click doesn't do that. The control right click doesn't do that anymore. So I really don't know what they did there, guys. It's kind of confusing. No, we don't want combo, we want combo escort. In fact, we're just going to take all these guys. I also gave them another another dolphin fleet here, guys. Uh, and it seems some of these other known patrols. We want them to all do convoy escort. Um, and yeah, I, I pulled one from over here. So this one's going to take a little while to get over here, but that's okay. Uh, so we're going to want them to cover all the regions where we might have uh, not only have convoys going through, but might actually face the enemy. So that's a lot of regions. I don't know how well they'll cover all that, but we'll try and let them do their thing. We'll see how well that goes for them. Uh, so they'll cover all that for us. Uh, and then we have, our, of course, our submarine fleets. So we need to get them doing their job as well. Where, where's the ones that are over here? All right, so these are these guys here. And some of these guys cover the more dangerous Mediterranean. I think I have them signed up there. Uh, not entirely sure why I left these guys down here. It's not as important, important of a task anymore. Uh, so I don't really feel like we need to keep keep ships on this side of things. Yeah, probably not. Um, yeah, I don't see us, us doing that. Although, keeping uh, the troops that are, are here like enemy French troops that are here and keeping them from getting any supply would be useful. Uh, just cutting down all, I mean, yeah, that's that's an option. Uh, but I really want to have, uh, you know, our submarines covering this area here where, you know, a lot of convoys go through. And then of course, Mediterranean where a lot of convoys go through. So yeah, we're gonna change this up, guys. Let's have these guys go here. Uh, and then we're gonna have, I mean, maybe we'll have them, you know what, we could use British dockyards. I don't know how well that'll work. Uh, we'll sign them there then. And then let's have all these guys do uh, convoy raiding in the Mediterranean. And hopefully this goes well. So they're going to cover the Mediterranean for us. While the red fleet here, uh, let's go ahead and have them come up this way. Base right there. That should remove, yeah, so that should remove them from there. And then we're going to want, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, oh, I didn't have them all selected. My bad. My bad. Everybody go over here. And then when we select the convoy rating, yeah, it doesn't pull them back. All right, I think that's only if you control right click. If you look at that, control right click to cancel mission, move to location. Hmm, all right, yeah, it didn't, didn't cancel the mission. All right, well, whatever. We're still trying to figure out how these mechanics work, guys. Uh, so these guys are all gonna be convoy rating, particularly in the English Channel. That's where I run, really want them uh, patrolling around. So that's it for the Atlantic fleet. Uh, then the... Um, you know, obviously our Pacific feed isn't going to be doing as much. Uh, there's just not, uh, there's not a lot of enemies over here, but we do have some invasions and stuff we need to do, so it'll give them something to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys do in Strike Force, and they're going to be operating under the South China Sea, uh, and yeah, they don't really have any enemies up here, so I don't need to worry about that. It's just going to be this area here where we're going to want uh, have it, to have our fleets patrolling. Uh, so we'll have them do that. We'll have these guys doing the patrol mission. And then these two here are going to be doing, it looks like they're already doing convoy escort. Excellent. Uh, so we also need these guys doing naval invasion support, and they're already assigned to that. Okay, excellent. Uh, so I believe our fleets are done. We still have a lot that are training here. In fact, I don't think we've done the submarines yet. Yes, that's right. We want to do the submarines. We already have them patrolling all throughout here, I believe, I want to say. Um, well, some of them are anyway. Looks like this one is not doing convoy raiding. All right, so we'll get them assigned. I don't know where they're... Tick, yeah, it looks like they, yeah, they're not assigned to these regions. All right, uh, so let's go and get them probably patrolling here. I, they can't go through, they can't go through the Suez, Suez Canal anymore. Uh, so let's just have it patrol over here. I don't really know how effective this is going to be, actually. Oh, yes, that's right. India is now in the conflict. All right, so we'll go ahead and patrol around India. Uh, try and get these sunk. We'll go ahead and uh, patrol right there, too. All right, so these guys here are going to be doing our convoy raiding in the Indian Ocean. All right, so I want to say that's it for the sea and air, and now we can start on the land. Uh, so we can't invade Spain yet. They're not in the conflict. Uh, we can invade over here, though. So let's go ahead and tell the Yellow Army to execute their orders. I want to say this is the Yellow Army. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and tell them to execute their orders. We're going to let the AI control that. Uh, we're just not going to be able to do it ourselves. Uh, and then we did delete that order there. Yes, we did. Uh, we'll go ahead and manually control these guys and have them do some attacks, though having him attack there would actually reduce, uh, increase the size of the front. Uh, oh, the Italians are not in the conflict yet? Uh, no, they're in the conflict. Why can he not invade? Cannot attack the enemy from neutral country. Okay, so have I not pulled these guys in? I thought I did. 
All right, so they've been called in now. In fact, we might well might as well do it uh, through here. Just click on every button, but that one I want to. Uh, let's call everybody to uh, to war if they haven't yet. Yeah, everybody's been called in. Uh, call all members of the faction. All right, so we should be able to invade now. Commands. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and then these guys here. Um, which which army is this? Let's take a look here. They don't have a commander. That's just throwing me off. All right, so we need to give them a commander. Uh, let's give them. I don't really have any tank. I mean, they have a couple tanks. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're going to give him Jeffrey. And, yeah, we do want him to, to start his order. So he'll go ahead and start attacking that way. Uh, everybody should, I mean, this should be super easy, honestly. We'll just have them attack here. Uh, so they, not even they can mess it up. And I want to say that's it for these areas. Uh, we want to go ahead and get our invasion started over here. Maybe we'll wait a little bit and let them, no, no, we don't want to give them any, any opportunity to, to, you know, guard these, these, uh, ports now that we're involved in the conflict. Uh, this guy is not executing. We do have him assigned. We do. Uh, he's just not executing it yet for whatever reason. Do we not have the convoys for it? No, we got convoys. All right, not entirely sure, but we'll go ahead and get these guys launching theirs. Oh, okay, there they go. Uh, and for whatever reason, yeah, they're going now. Okay, excellent. All right, so they're launching their invasions. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is, we're winning all along here. We'll have to defend that border too, because remember, uh, Iraq is, is in the conflict, but we'll get their oil, snatch that up so that the enemies don't have that. The yellow uh, army, I think, is is ready for their invasions. Let's go ahead and have them execute theirs. Don't know how well this will go. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. We're going to wait to launch the paratroopers until after these invasions have succeeded. We'll want to go ahead and launch these guys as well. Um, though they're still waiting on troops. Perhaps we'll wait until those troops get here. Yeah, we're going to wait. Uh, they're, they're coming across the sea now. So we'll wait to send the red army. Eh, it's more of a backup in case the yellow army loses here. Also, uh, it'll allow us to maybe get that port easy. If we do succeed, then all the troops will be pumping over here to defend their borders. So is there any troops that I didn't send that need to get sent? Obviously, Patton, he's you know going to reinforce the yellow army once they finish their job. Uh, some of the yellow army is not assigned to their... Their task get I'm guessing they're still training perhaps yeah maybe some tanks or something still training uh, this army here uh, I think we're gonna manually control that front got the red army over here just making sure everybody has been sent yeah these guys have been sent uh, these guys have not yet uh, so we do need to get them doing their order uh, though there's no fleet over here all right well that's a problem isn't it uh, yeah we're gonna have to get somebody covering this for us and I'm thinking that we're probably gonna do we're just gonna wait to launch an invasion. We'll move one of these fleets over here, but let's first take care of this stuff. Those islands can wait just a little bit. It'll be fine. Uh, and let's go ahead and see who else needs to get sent. We sent these guys. Uh, Purple Army's not doing anything. They're just uh, back up here for right now. Yellow Army's doing their job. Oh yes, the American front. I completely forgot about this front. All right, so these guys are not in the conflict yet, so we can't actually do anything. Here, we're just basically defending. They are attacking us. Uh, we'll stay on the defense. I'm fine with that. And yeah, we can't do anything over here just yet. We are moving troops this way, uh, and they, we're defending right there. If these guys leave here, then we'll be able to grab their port, get them cut off and destroyed. Uh, while these guys here are going to be going ahead and attacking over this way now. Okay, so I'm going to say that's all we needed to do there. Uh, now we need to focus on this Spanish front. Uh, we can't yet. They're not in the conflict yet. All right, looks like we had a naval battle over here, uh, and it was with uh, some light cruisers and destroyers. Didn't really do any damage, we just sunk those convoys there. Let's take a look what's going on over here. Uh, nothing. Uh, and something there, just more convoys. We're just bombing all the convoys. All right, excellent. So that's something. Uh, so yeah, we got to wait until Spain gets pulled on the, into the conflict. And there we go, now a bunch of people just got pulled in. Uh, and I don't know who all, we'll just take a look. The, these guys are not in yet. Spain is who we're waiting on. Uh, so we don't really need to mess with that front yet since we can't do anything. Uh, so we'll just take a look and see what's going on on these other fronts that the AI is currently in control of. They are winning the screen, so it's important, and there's Spain. Excellent. So Spain is now in the conflict. Uh, sunk some convoys there. So got an Italian destroyer already. Excellent. Just trying to see how we're doing on getting that Italian fleet destroyed. Once the Italians are destroyed, the Spanish have a little bit of a fleet. Britain, the French have an even smaller one. Uh, but yeah, I don't expect... I don't expect, uh, once the Italians are destroyed, I, I think that that's our primary enemy, and from there on out, it's going to get pretty easy, I think. A lot of enemies on the, the border here. About six divisions in each uh, province, seven in that one. 
So let's see how the best way to do this is. Uh, obviously, we don't want to attack all three provinces. Uh, let's go for the ports. So we'll go around these guys. Uh, so I think that's the best way to do this. And let's take a look at the uh, provinces uh, where we want to send the mountain troops. We want to send the mountain troops here. And then we're going to send, like, two tank divisions that way as well. Send the rest of the tanks that way. And then the infantry here uh, will then take a couple and leave them here. And then the, the rest are going to go that way with a, maybe one or two infantry going this way. All right, so should be able to win there. I don't know. Yeah, we might not. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a challenging fight. Yeah, I don't know that we can win there even with our uh, control of the skies. Let's take a look and make sure we are controlling the sky. We are not. Interesting. Why are we not controlling the sky? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure uh, why we don't control the skies here. Uh, they do have anti-air guns, so that might be affecting it a bit because uh, that does, uh, you know, lend control to your, uh, you know, air superiority. Uh, gives a little bonus there because uh, they only have 450 fighters. We have 800 fighters. Uh, we do control the sky. It's all across here though, so that's good. Uh, invasion's launching right now. This is going to be really, really slow, guys, because I'm controlling. We got so many fronts going on. I got to keep an eye on all of them. Uh, so yes, things are going to move slow. <laughs> it's going to move incredibly slow. Uh, this tank unit here, let's just have. I almost want one going across the top there. So what we're going to do is have just one of the tank units coming across here. Just go to Benghazi while the other tank unit attempts to cut off all troops that might be here. Same with this guy here. It's going to try and cut off any troops that might be here. And then the rest of our infantry will wrap that up for us. All right. Um, so there, we did push forward there uh, and there. Uh, looks like we're defending here, so not really able to take that promise there. We got an ace by promoted. Excellent. And free Panama com Commune has been called into the conflict. Excellent. Just seeing what else is all going around, going happening around the world. Uh, looks like we are sinking some French convoys through here, so that's good. Uh, and do they have troops uh, going through here at all? I'm just kind of curious if any of these are... Yeah, these are troop convoys. All right, so we're sinking troop convoys. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Uh, so we got the invasion here going as well. Uh, sunk some convoys there. Uh, still waiting for the troops. There we go. Landed there. Let's go ahead and throw the tanks over here as well. Uh, they were waiting for that invasion to finish up. Let's go ahead and throw them over there. And then this is also going to be controlled by the AI. Because uh, obviously we can't, can't uh, do it ourselves. And we want them to start pushing forward here. Uh, so let's go ahead and tell them to execute their order. We'll do the first initial uh, control here just because uh, if we don't, then they're going to do some stupid shit because <laughs> they always do. Uh, and then we'll just take we'll, we'll just take a few of these and have them do, you know, uh, our assignments that we want them to do. And then these guys go this way and the other one go all the way down. All right. Excellent. Uh, and then have, oh, I don't know. Let's have like a couple of these guys make sure that we attack here. All right, uh, so they can control the rest of them. Uh, the Marines should succeed here and take Zygon. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll have Indochina in no time. Uh, they do have divisions up here, but they'll have to fight the Chinese there. They'll probably pull some of them back, I, I would imagine. Uh, I suppose we'll see what happens there. Let's take a look at the Spanish front. Holy shit, what happened here? Whoa, what happened there, man? They took Gibraltar, like how? They must have destroyed those, yeah, they destroyed those divisions. How the fuck did that happen? All right, well, good play, Spain. They just destroyed 24 divisions. I don't even know how. How'd that end up happening? Uh, but yeah, we no longer have access here. Um, wow, that was weird. I didn't expect that to happen. We were fighting. Huh. Yeah, we attacked here and we attacked there. So we were kind of, uh, you know, damn, that fucks our shit all up. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um... Yeah, we needed Gibraltar too. Uh, that that's going to cause some major issues for our fleet because uh, our fleet is no longer going to be able to operate effectively out of here. Um, yeah, we need to get Gibraltar back. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Okay, so what a surprise! Look at Spain. Look at you go. All right. Well, we've landed in France. We also sunk a heavy cruiser and a destroyer here. We've already landed in France though. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these troops moving. This is what we'll control. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm like incredibly shocked, guys, that they, they did that. Um, that is really surprising uh, that they were able to, to get a victory there. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys pushing forward over here. Uh, also, the tanks, I believe, are, yeah, they're still training up. But we'll be able to get Patton's troops in here now. So let's go ahead and put them, uh, we'll, we're going to just put them all into one port. I don't really care which one. I guess we can do this one. Uh, so let's get them all going over here now. 
and then these guys are going to start pushing forward. France should be taken out pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, I'm a little bit... Wow, I'm just I'm just shocked. <laughs> shocked that that happened. Uh, that wasn't uh, expected, honestly. That was... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how they did that. I know that we were attacking, and then of course, you know, that reduces your organization and stuff uh, when attacking, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm, all right, well, whatever, we lost 24 divisions out of nowhere, so at the very least, one positive way of looking at this is that we already have 275,000 casualties that we just lost to Spain, uh, so that does make us have a lot of total war participation. Typically, we can't get war participation uh, because of... Um, you know, because we don't uh, lose enough troops. Well, we just lost enough, guys. We now have lost 275, though. That doesn't compare to the Soviet Union at all. They've already lost 2.91 million. But yeah, 275. Uh, in World War II, America in total, across the entire conflict, historically, only lost 400-something thousand. Uh, in that entire last war that we did, we didn't even lose 300k. Uh, and that was how, how many years worth of conflict. And we just lost 275 in the opening week of the war. That's massive. Now, the majority of those casualties, I'm assuming, would probably be, uh, you know, those that have surrendered. Um, that's, I mean, te technically casualty is anybody uh, killed, wounded, or, uh, you know, MIA. But uh, I don't know how it works in the game with surrenders. It seems like if they surrender, that's counted as a casualty as well. So I'm assuming that the majority of those didn't die. They actually uh, surrendered. Uh, you know, just one way to look at it. An interesting uh, aspect of it, I think. We do have this this yellow army here that uh, has still not gone to this front yet because of supply. Uh, so if we do start getting in trouble here, we can send those, and then that should make it go a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and support here. Make sure these guys are, are you know advancing here. It looks like we got like one tank here attempting to go this way. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these tanks make sure they attack as soon as they get there. Uh, we did get dockyards and factories probably that we just snatched from the French. So let's go ahead and put those to our, our needs, the things we need the most, which would be motorized. It's for those light tank divisions. Those light tank divisions are lacking pretty hardcore. So let's go ahead and give them something towards light tanks. And, you know, let's also go ahead and do the, the motorized. And we still have factories. So let's do more light tanks. Okay. Uh, as far as resources go, uh, we do have an excess of steel, surprisingly. I think it's because they just took the steel from the French. Uh, and uh, now we need steel again. All right. Well, that's weird. All right, so that'll fix that. Um, we can lower the autonomy of, of Britain if we wanted to, but we don't want to. Uh, though, wait a minute, what would that do? Is that just make them to an integrated puppet? Because I'm actually okay with that, as long as we don't annex them. So Britain is currently a puppet, which means they cannot declare war. They uh, can de cannot decline our call to wars. And then those are the bonuses they get. Uh, integrated would make it so that we control their deployed units, all deployment, uh, all, all their troops will uh, go to us. Uh, extra trade to Overlord. Yeah, not seeing anything changing there. Master can build construction. Yeah, we can already do that. Okay, so this gives us some of their civilian and military industry. You know, I don't think we're going to change them up, guys. Let's just keep them as is. I think that's the best way to have the Brits. Uh, we also have dockyards I didn't get assigned, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, though I don't know if we actually have anywhere to put the dockyard to. I guess we can just do convoys. Uh, we do need them. Uh, we have, like, so many convoys, 1,800 convoys. Uh, but yeah, we're just using them all. Uh, so these guys have, have uh, succeeded as well. Let's go ahead and get them moving forward. Uh, since we're not controlling Spain like I thought I was going to. We were gonna, I thought I was going to be controlling the Spanish front. Uh, since we're not, I guess I can just manually control all these guys, huh? Uh, so let's get these guys going here. All right, and let's put some troops over there. Get these troops moving here. And you guys are going to attack. One's going to attack this way, lock that division down, though it looks like we probably win that battle as well. Let's go ahead and take that province there. Should start advancing here and be able to get France knocked out fairly quickly. I think I don't think France is going to be too much of an issue, guys. Spain, though, is obviously a beast, a monster. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't believe how shittily that went. Still trying to attack over that way. Uh, we do have Italians back here. Were they doing an invasion or something? Or were they... I don't even know who, the, who that guy was. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get just this Black Widow division here to wipe them out. Uh, so uh, they'll take care of that for us. Still winning over here as well. It does look like we failed there miserably. Uh, so, yeah, we, we're pushing forward uh, slowly on that front. Just need to make sure we're paying attention to all the fronts. Uh, and we did sink a convoy there. Uh, another thing... Do we have any naval battles? We have one here in the central, the central Mediterranean. Let's take a look at it real quick. All right, so this is the Italian fleet. Our fleet is on the way. It's currently submarines that are trying, trying to get away. You can see a very large fleet here. Uh, they currently have 11 heavy cruisers, or excuse me, 14 heavy cruisers, two battleships, including the pride of the fleet. 
uh, about 14 light cruisers and 60 something destroyers and here we come with our uh, uh, much smaller fleet so hopefully they succeed uh, we'll just have to see how that ends up going uh, for us and I think that's the only naval battle we have going right now. Yeah, that's the way it looks. Let's take a look at this frontier, see how things are going, make sure that they're advancing. Uh, we do need to get the Marines advancing as well, so let's give them an order to attack up t this way. And I'll just let the AI manually control that. Uh, but once again, we'll do the initial attacks here. Just make sure they kind of fan out to different directions, because otherwise they won't. <laughs> so you guys go that way. There we go. Make sure they all fan out to a different province. All right, so they'll take care of that for us. And let's take a look at uh, the situation here in France. This is the one we're manually controlling, so this is the one we need to really be paying attention to. Uh, it looks like their attempt and attack is there. Let's go ahead and have uh, these guys attack right there. That's really where I want to go. And wait, has been pulled in. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward here. And this front should all combine. If it doesn't here in a minute, then I'm gonna force it to. Uh, so, no, it doesn't look like it is. So what we're gonna do is just delete that and then like that and then have uh, all these troops here make sure that they're on this front all right pushing forward there lovely uh yeah winning all the way across here let's take a look at these guys make sure that they continue to attack here uh take these guys put them that way and you guys go that way all right pushing forward there uh who dares win uh should we get the uh patents troops here momentarily and then we're gonna have a much more speed in this army so right now they're not incredibly fast uh, and then you guys are gonna go we just go that way and our ships on low strength oh no how are we doing in the battle here we did lose a light cruiser we lost seven destroyers they've lost 15 destroyers five heavy cruisers two battleships including the pride of the fleet and a light cruiser uh and it seems our our battleship might be a little bit weak here just taking a look at which one it is it's one of the 1936 ones so it's an old battleship uh, it's not one of our newer ones and I mean we're sinking a ton of ships So this is definitely worth the losing a battleship for and yeah, it's none of the carriers or anything like that All right, so yeah, we'll we'll continue to uh, allow this to to go and See how many of their ships we can get sunk because that's the big battle right there That's really how we're gonna get get the Italian fleet destroyed. Uh, looks like we're also engaging Spanish here uh, sinking some French convoys Okay, uh, so let's take a look and see how things are going here. We want to make sure once again We're, we're manually controlling this I want to I almost want to, as soon as we connect these borders, just let the yellow army control it, the AI, just because we're trying to get this done as quickly as possible. Let's go and attack over this way, and let's have them move that way as well. All right, so push them forward here. Almost got these borders connected. Still waiting on Patton's army as well. All right, so these guys went in here. Let's go attack over this way, and there we go. The front is combined. Let's go ahead and take that, delete it, extend this and have the entire yellow army, although it's probably the wrong yellow army, I think it's this yellow army, yes, it's this one, go into that front there. All right, excellent, go and push forward over here. Remember, these are our 40-width division designs, so they're pretty powerful uh, compared to like other designs that we have in our army. All right, so let's see what all this is about. All right, just puppets, lots and lots of puppets being pulled into the conflict. All right, so let's go ahead and have the blue army. We're gonna have them have uh, the same front here. And let's go ahead and give orders now. And I am going to just go ahead and let the AI control it because I think this should be pretty quick and easy. France seems especially squishy. Uh, so let's go ahead and, I mean, this is like us fighting Japan, man. <laughs> they didn't do too well. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and have Patton control his troops. And then I want to say, yeah, this yellow army is the right army. And then we're going to have them control it. And let me just go ahead and send these initial attacks off. Looks like that one's not going to be successful. So we might need to support it, though they can't. All right, let's just change this in. Good God. <laughs> Too many people coming in. I'm trying to pull them back, but I can't. All right, let's try it here then instead. And then that way, these guys can support this attack. There we go, excellent. All right, so blue army's getting under their borders, under their fronts, and they're gonna help us out. Uh, everybody wants to, to join our efforts, and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Cuba can come in, everybody can come in. All right, so yeah, Japan can come in here, they're gonna help us out in the Pacific and pretty much everybody at Denmark I don't know how many troops any of these guys have probably not many we didn't have that battle finished up oh that's not the right battle this is a different one okay I thought the battle had finished up it's I guess still going uh, there's also a battle over here as well 
Uh, let's take a look at it, though. I'm not really seeing it anywhere. It's in the Western Approaches, they said. Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing it. It says zero new combat. I uh, have laid quite a few mines throughout these regions. I don't know if we've hit anybody with them, though. Just taking a look. I mean, yeah, I guess there's no mines there. It's just the mines here. Yeah, we haven't hit anybody with our mines yet. Uh, just now getting the mines laid here. Seems the enemy has actually laid some mines here. All right, that's interesting. You don't really see the AI doing that much. They have laid mines, and we don't even have mine clearers yet, so something to consider. Uh, these, I think regular destroyers might be able to do a mine clearing. Maybe I'll take one of these dolphin fleets and have them clear the mines here in the, the Mediterranean. I, I want to say they can clear. Uh, let me just take a look. Mine clearing. Uh, mine sweep it. No, they cannot. I want to say that we have somebody that can do it. Yeah, I might have to go through and see which uh, destroyer it was. One of the base destroyers had some mine sweeping ability. Uh, so I might have to take a look at that. Uh, so also it looks like our submarines are engaging over here. More convoys apparently. Yeah, we're sinking a lot of French convoys. I think these are all troop convoys as well. So that's one kind of initial advantage here. Just make sure that these guys are continuing their advance. Make sure that they're uh, doing their damn thing. They're taking care of that for us. Looks like we did face a little bit of uh, resistance there, but it's okay. It's going to get these marines bouncing up the coast uh, to take care of that for us. These guys are going to go all the way around the edge here. And everybody should be pushing forward there looking pretty good we do need to make some adjustments to our division designs uh you know we found out in the last episode that our old hickories don't have uh don't have the logistics that i wanted them to have so that's interesting uh, i thought they had it but they don't so let's go ahead and add that to them it's gonna fuck up their experience a little bit that's okay also i think only like one comment for the the big infantry for a name for these so i'm gonna leave that open for uh probably just today this will be the last episode and the next episode we'll, we'll name them we did finish these guys though. Okay, excellent. I want to. I thought there was somebody else that we didn't finish. I'm just gonna go through these real quick and make sure that everybody has uh, their full. That's what it was. They're short of combat with. Okay, I thought there was something I hadn't done. Uh, we wanted to give them another infantry division, so or battalion, excuse me. So let's go and save that. Make them a little bit better. And I, I think that's it. I want to say everybody else is good to go. Uh, yeah, these guys are pretty much good. We could give them MPs, but I don't think we've even researched that yet. Uh, so we'll just have to wait on that front. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're having any issues here. All right, so once the tanks get on this front, uh, it's going to be a wrap. We're going to start advancing much, much quicker. Once they kind of get out to their uh, their positions, I think we'll start really pushing forward here and taking territory. We did finish up that naval battle. Nope. Here we go. Yeah, this was a naval battle. All right, so we did end up losing that 1936 battleship. I think it was a good trade-off, though, for what we sunk here. We did lose two light cruisers and eight destroyers, a few planes as well. Uh, we sunk 37 destroyers, guys. Two battleships, including their pride of the fleet, seven heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and also shot some, down some planes. Uh, so that leaves the rest of their navy pretty devastated. That was a huge win for us. Uh, just taking a look at what's left of the Italian Navy. They have like a low hundreds. Uh, it's That was a big, big win. Of course, it's going to take a little while for our ships to repair. We're probably going to make sure that they are repairing as well. Uh, it looks like they're attempting to identify. They didn't really take a whole lot of damage. There's a damage light cruiser there. Uh, yeah, really, that wasn't too bad, guys. All right, well, we'll leave it as is. Let's take a look at our planes that are supposed to be like supporting us. We're not getting any support over here any longer, so that's really negative. Uh, yeah, uh, where did those bombers go? Just curious here there's an opening here so we might want to get some of those assigned uh over to there uh, so naval bombers are helping us here that's that's good that's what we want to see we're continuing to bomb there uh, looks like we almost got some ships sunk there um remember we have the tactical bombers and and uh looks like tactical two sets of tactical bombers here uh they might have come from no we have both of them over here so where are these tactical bombers at all right, so this is where those two tactical bombers went that moved out of, uh, yeah, I think we got a, t a shit ton of uh, planes that moved from over here over to this one. So that's a bit too much. Now we're losing efficiency. Uh, but we do have new air bases to move to, so we'll go do that here in a second. First, let's go and get these two tactical bombers out of here and put them somewhere closer to their objective. Looks like this is wide open, so let's go ahead and have them come over here now. Uh, and they can work out of there to do what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, and then the new planes that we just got, let's go and have the, you know, the ones from Spain. Just take a look. I think all these are standing by right now. The ones that are standing by are the ones that we got from Spain, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, close air support, and then some fighters as well. Okay, so this is a total of two, four, six, eight. Yeah, this is way too much. Uh, to put into that one airbase, but we do have an airbase here. Let's go ahead and have them support us there, and you can see that we have like just complete control of the skies here. Uh, so we shouldn't have too many issues. There's a ton of planes that we're using there. Let's take a look at how this front here is going. Once again, guys, things are just going to go really slow. I want to say supply has become an issue. 
And that's why we're losing these battles? Yeah, we're not able to win these. All right, let's just go ahead and stop this objective. I don't know where they're at on here. It looks like, yeah, this is not gonna work. There's too many troops, uh, or not even, just one division, and we're just so short on supply. Let's go ahead and stop this. There's too many troops here, I think. Yeah, I think we sent too many divisions here. Okay, so what we'll do is let's go ahead and move a few of these divisions down to the south uh, so that we don't have these supply issues. Like, let's take these three and move them over here. I mean, we can't even advance over here anyways. Uh, yeah, supply is such an issue. I hate fighting in Africa, guys. It's the worst. Uh, in fact, we could also bring... That's ah, fine. I'm not going to mess with that. All right, so pushing forward over here. This light tank could probably get right there easily enough. Uh, let's go and make sure that we have... Yeah, we do have somebody moving over there. Excellent. Uh, winning here as well. And just having some difficulty. You guys won't, won't finish this. Uh, they can't get her done. All right, we had a naval battle with somebody. We lost a submarine. All right, some Italian uh, escorts destroyed us. Okay, let's take a look what's going on over here. And I guess we can take a look at this front as well. Uh, and the red front should go all the way across. Blue front can stay as is. Let's go and make sure that they continue to advance, though. All right. Uh, I kind of want those guys cut off, so... Yeah, see, this is this is what I'm talking about, guys. The fucking AI, man. They're so garbage. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, they're just so bad. Like, like, what are you doing? Why are you moving troops this way instead of going up there? It just is nonsensical. Let you guys go to that front, please. Okay. Push them forward on that front, trying to get that all conquered. That's going to really help, uh, really hurt the French uh, and their faction as far as oil goes. And yeah, this is super slow going because there's so much to for us to be aware of. Make sure we keep an eye on. They're going that way. All right, that'll work, I suppose. And you guys go and attack over this way. Uh, it looks like you would not win. Too many troops. Pull back. Um, God damn, I, can't, I still, I'm still like shocked, man. About the fucking attack there uh, that we lost. Um, I guess the, the Spanish. Yeah, I'm just so surprised that, that happened. Let's hack over this way. And the light tanks go as well. Not really focusing on cutting divisions off or anything like that. Just really wanting the front here to push forward because, uh, you know, once the French are defeated, it's irrelevant. So taking a look here, they're 45% towards capitulation. Did uh, the American front ever get pulled in? It did. All right, and we haven't really been involved here. All right, we are sinking all their convoys that are moving throughout here. We should be able to easily attack. I think it's, yeah, it's this one right here. Let's go and have our troops attack, get that finished. Uh, these guys here can also launch their attack. Uh, let's have them attack that way since it's the one mountain province. And then we'll just go and take, oh, I don't know, three divisions maybe? That should probably be good, hopefully. Yeah, oh, that's all right. And then we'll have like the majority of the divisions attack this way and have these two attack over that way. All right, looking pretty good, squared away. Uh, is there any opening provinces here? Uh, there's no open provinces, but we could probably win these. There's not a lot of troops here. Let's go and attack that way. And then these guys are gonna attack over this way. Start attacking into Brazil. Try and get the Americas knocked out of the conflict as quickly as we can. As you can see here, uh, the Colombians are not doing too well. Having some issues, we don't want Panama threatened, so gonna have to come up from behind here and hopefully get a victory i might let the ai control this i don't know it's kind of a difficult front for them so it could end up going pretty poorly they did move out of here so their port is wide open so let's go and attack them there and then we're gonna have this division attack here move out. while these guys attack from this direction all right and then we're gonna grab that port up before we attack these guys here uh, so that we can get them destroyed and they won't be able to leave all right so they're taking care of that for us uh, just seeing all around the world, seeing if there's anything else we need to be aware of. I think a lot of convoys here, a lot of French convoys. Uh, the submarines are doing an excellent job, but we're also getting a lot of assistance from our, our planes as well. That's what it looks like anyway. These are actually, these are uh, our convoys being sunk here. These are the Spanish planes sinking us, uh, our convoys. So that's a shame. Um, yeah, that could cause some issues because it might affect our destroyers that we have there. Just taking a look here and seeing how we're doing on the convoy battles. Okay. Uh, yeah, things are going pretty well over there. Uh, this this sucks. Uh, the supply here is just absolutely garbage. I'm surprised that we did so bad in the attacks. Maybe it might do a little bit better now that we've pulled some of those troops back. Let's take a look. These guys should be going over to this front, too, if they're not already. Uh, not entirely sure. I don't think they're pulling out, which is actually causing issues. So why don't you guys come on over here, then? Yeah, not all of them are pulling back. We do have some free military factories that we took from the French. So let's go ahead and get these assigned. What do we need the most? We're lacking steel as well. 
Uh, we're losing a lot of uh, infantry equipment. We have 15 factories going towards that, though, so I think that's okay. Uh, how are we doing on, like, uh, anti-tanks are short, so we'll probably want to trade for that. Or, excuse me, start building that. Support equipment's looking pretty good. Uh, artillery's looking good. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Is, well, anti-tanks have five. I think that's good uh, for the current job right now. Let's go ahead and put into... You know, I really feel like light tanks is what we need. So let's go ahead and get the steel problem dealt with. All right, looking good. Not a lot of time left of the episode, guys. We'll play as long as I can. I do have to pick my kids up uh, here, pick them up from school soon. Uh, did sink 12 destroyers there. Excellent. So, you know, once again, just crippling the Italian Navy. They're down to maybe 100 ships or so. Uh, so, yeah, they're hurting. Haven't really sunk any Spanish ships, though. Uh, their planes have been causing us some troubles, though. Uh, and then I did notice that this is or was wide open. It's not anymore. All right, yeah, that, losing Gibraltar was huge. I don't even know how that happened. I'm gonna be salty about it for like the rest of this campaign now. I mean, we all heard about it. I can't believe that happened. So let's go and have these guys push forward here. Uh, and yeah, they'll defend that for us. Let's go and have these guys go this way. And tanks attack. All right, so let's get these guys going back this way. And you guys are gonna attack over here. Let's have these guys attack up this way instead of whatever it was they were doing. Gonna attack right there, the medium tanks are just wreaking havoc on them. Uh, and then these guys are gonna push over this way. Alright, everybody needs to attack. Alright, uh, United Works State of Gambia has capitulated. Alright, there's another social state that is lost, unfortunately. Uh, and, yeah, that wasn't even a. Yeah, these are just convoys, man. Got me all tripped and shit, thinking it's something exciting. Nope, just convoys. Alright. Let's take a look at Syria. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention to this one. Let's go and attack over that way. Uh, looks like we already have a light tank attacking that way. Let's go and lock those troops down. Uh, we're probably just going to have to cut these guys off. Maybe right there. Yeah, cut all these divisions off. Although they're not cut off unless we take the port. So that's something to consider. I don't think those guys are going to succeed there. Uh, but you're just having a lot of supply issues. Uh, and you know what? We can also send this division over this way. See if he could get a win there. If we send a couple divisions, could they win? They could not. All right. So let's just go and pull that back. Clearly can't. Can't defeat the Iraqis yet. Gonna have a problem with the front here, because you're gonna have the big old massive Turkish front and then the big old massive, massive Iraqi front. I mean, massive for the Middle East anyway. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna cause some issues. Uh, didn't lose any more submarines here, so that's good. I was kind of worried about that. And we hadn't had our loud vehicles go through t today yet, so they had to make sure that they did. Uh, so <laughs> bug the hell out of me. Uh, I really wanna get the troops here cut off. So that's what these submarines are gonna, or these submarines, <laughs> that's what those Marines are gonna do. Uh, so actually, let's go this way instead, because uh, we do have those Marines going up the coast there. These guys will go ahead and wrap up the middle territory here. All right, so they're gonna take care of that for us. Red armies also should be pushing forward here. All right, so advancing on that front. Uh, it's been like two weeks in the war so far, because uh, we're playing so so slow. Uh, but that's okay, guys. The point is to be winning here. Trying to get these guys cut off. That's uh, should be done here momentarily, uh, and. Don't know if these guys would succeed in attack there. Let's test it. We'll have them support that attack. Yeah, it looks like that's going to win. Excellent. Uh, already pushing forward there. Let's go and have them take uh, another victory point here. When do the French capitulate? Looks like they're 48%. They've already lost 229,000. We lost 307,000, though. I uh, remember, though, 275 of that was from the Gibraltar attack that failed miserably. Uh, in fact, let's go and have these guys go this way, and then they can go that way. And we are going to have to set these guys support that attack instead of whatever they were going to do. All right, does look like this is not gonna succeed. What if we threw some infantry in there? All right, must be a lot of troops there. That's okay. Uh, light tanks are pushing forward over here. Let's get them across the river as soon as they can. Uh, and then we're gonna have these guys go back here. Uh, the front's getting a little bit stretched out. So hopefully we don't get cut off. Uh, I don't know, we might be able to beat these guys. Maybe not, nope, didn't win. All right, let's go that way instead. And then these guys are gonna attack here. That's not gonna work. All right, pull it back. All right, so taking a look at the naval battle. Uh, a lot of uh, submarines there, enemy submarines. All right, and they might have been trying to go into that port there. It looks like that's not going to work for them. Uh, and let's go ahead and have these guys go this way, and then all of you guys just wrap this division up. All right, excellent. You guys can take that out. Let's go ahead and have this guy go this way. And uh, now go that way. Okay, so almost got that wrapped up. This division here is currently defending against those that are attempting to get into that port there. Uh, and our troop convoys have been attacked as well. 
are currently defending them. Hopefully they don't lose them. Yeah, they, their submarines have engaged us here. This is the um, our main fleet here. Uh, that is interesting enough. Oh, yes, I forgot he has the pride of the fleet. All right, this is not our main fleet. Uh, so sinking some submarines there, so that's good to see. Uh, I think our, our uh, planes are helping with that a lot. Uh, just taking a look at what happened over here. Not what I wanted to see. There we go. Two light cruisers, 18 destroyers. So they just reckon the Italian destroyers. Their navy is going to be done in no time. A lot of convoys. A lot of convoy battles. Just kind of scroll through these guys so you can see them real quick. And yeah, it's just mostly mostly convoys. Before we end the episode, if I have time, I can remember to stop at the right time. I want to look at not just the casualties, but also like how we're doing in the ship battles. Uh, see how many ships we've sunk of theirs, how many ships they've sunk of ours. Seven uh, destroyers here, Tur Turkish destroyers here sunk, one Italian, one Italian light cruiser. We lost three destroyers. Losing a ton of ships, absolute ton of ships uh, ourselves. Obviously, it's been worth it because we're sinking way more of theirs. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely impacting, I think, the ability of our Navy because we're losing so many. And it sunk three uh, Turkish destroyers there. Excellent. Uh, it's hard to, it's, it's easy uh, to, remember, to forget that the... Uh, the Italians are in there, or the, excuse me, it's, I guess it's really hard to talk. That's what it's hard to do. Uh, but it's easy to, to forget that the uh, the Turks are in the war. That's what I've been trying to say with uh, increased difficulty. <laughs> Not very good at talking, apparently. Uh, you guys already know that, though. Uh, so let's go and have them take that province. We're going to try and cut these guys off if we can. Get them destroyed so we don't have to fight them all the way across Libya. Well, we do have dockyards and factories. Uh, let's go and take a look at what we want to get. Um... I mean, we could always use more convoys, so we'll go ahead and do that. But that's not going to cover it. That's not enough. Uh, how many big ships do we currently have going right now? Uh, we have, let's see, one, two, two carriers and three battleships. Well, I kind of want to get another battleship, guys. I almost want to, to do that. I know that we're waiting on a lot of ships uh, or a lot of uh, equipment right now. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get another battleship, guys. Uh, mainly because, let me just see if I can find these. Uh, we should probably do it this way. We'll take a look at them as well. Uh, but mainly because it feels like we don't have enough battleships, like new battleships. All of our, our battleships are really, really old. I want to say there's nothing here to upgrade. I could be wrong. Yeah, I want to say we have everything. Yeah, so that's pretty much good. We don't need to create a variant or anything. We're just going to go ahead and build another another thing of battleships here. I know that these cost a lot of cost a lot of steel. It's okay, though. And I don't know if we'll ever get them done in time for them to be useful. But we'll build them anyway. Uh, and, and you know what, guys? I don't think we're going to build with the rest of those. I should probably trade for them, get the military factories done first. But I don't think we're going to do anything with the dockyards, guys. That's enough. Uh, steel is such an issue that I don't really want to do anything with them. We'll keep assigning military factories because we are so short on equipment. Uh, but for everything else, yeah, I don't see us. I don't see us doing that. Uh, we do need light tanks, uh, destroyers, and, and light self-propelled artillery. So let's go ahead and build those. Let's do it just like this, and that should. Nope, that's not enough. We got so many factories uh, that yeah, we can do a bit more. Well, we have a lot of planes we need to get upgraded. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on lots of planes then. Uh, tactical bombers as well, sure, why not? And then, yeah, we can go ahead and put a bit more towards these guys then. All right, so that should keep our factories occupied for a little while. We shouldn't have to manage any... I don't know, there's a lot of lots to be taken from, from the, the French, so maybe we'll have to come back to this here soon. All right, so that's done. Once again, not going to do the dockyards. I'm done with those for right now. Uh, decisions available. We were saving the political power for something. I think I was changing it for the worker, uh, just saving it for the to, to get our stability up, because our stability has once again dropped down uh, now that we're back at war. So somebody wants me to do the communal the domain here. Uh, this is just adds uh, building slots. Uh, he keeps bringing it up in the comments, that's why I'm mentioning it now. All this does is add building slots, not something we need right now, so I'm not gonna take it. Obviously not worth 50 political power, not when we have so many other things that we need. Uh, what we need next is the improved worker conditions. That's what we're saving up for, guys. So hopefully we can get that soon. Uh, sinking, sinking a lot of convoys through here. The submarines are doing a fantastic job. We've got to get Gibraltar back. I don't have any divisions to do it right now. And attacking the Spanish across their mountains is going to be problematic, too. We're probably going to have to use this army once they get across North Africa to have them do the invasion. So hopefully they can hurry up and get this done uh, so that we can do that. Uh, these guys here still attacking there. Looks like the tanks here aren't doing nothing, of course, because they love doing that. AI loves to just sit around and not do anything. Uh, they have such massive supply issues here, uh, and that's why these troops can't move forward. Uh, let's go ahead and build this one up, too, and tick that up to the top. Never going to get... Never gonna get our fucking nukes gone. <laughs> we got so much stuff we gotta get, guys. That's the reason why. 
Uh, so, are we still stacked here? No, we're good to go. All right, awesome. Um, so, because we also have an opening here that I'm noticing uh, that we could add some some bombers and fighters if need be. It seems like we have control of the skies though, so I think we're all right. I think the only issue is this one right here. A lot of fighters there currently uh, probably shooting down our, our tactical bombers. Tactical bombers have much better defense though, so I'm not too worried about it. They do a pretty good job uh, defending themselves against fighters. They sink a lot of fighters, or shoot, excuse me, shoot down a lot of fighters. I said sink. <laughs> Let's have these guys go ahead and push forward there. Let's try and get France wrapped up. I, it won't be wrapped up before the end of this episode, though, because we're just about done, guys. Uh, these guys going under this way. Yeah, one there. Excellent. Uh, got some troops cut off here. Let's go and get them destroyed as quickly as we can. Uh, these guys push them forward there. Lovely. Let's go and attack over that way. Start pushing forward here. All right. Yeah, so many tanks and tr troops are, are left behind because we're moving so fast on the French front. Doesn't seem like it because, you know, we're moving, we're playing slow, but yeah, we are. Suck two destroyers there, or we lost two destroyers, excuse me. So that's not good. I uh, say the submarines here causing all kinds of havoc. Yeah, lots of convoys to be sunk there. Uh, I'm not going to continue looking at them. They'll take forever. <laughs> so we'll wait. Uh, we should have these guys wrapped up here soon. Um, this tank is taking care of that. I think we have a division that's supposed to be moving over there. I can't really see, but I'm pretty sure there is. Supply, guys. Supply is really the problem here now. Uh, we're having lots of supply issues. And we should have this guy yeah, taking care of that, and then we'll get those troops at Tobruk uh, destroyed. Let's take a look at the battle here, because I just want to see what we've gotten sunk. Looks like no you know, actual battleships, uh, or any ships, you know, combat ships. So they're moving over there. Let's go ahead and have these guys push forward over here. Now that we have more troops, looks like we got that wrapped up as well. Uh, and then these guys can just come back. Um, I mean, we want them coming over to this front. So far, they haven't been able to move over there because of supply issues, though. So I'm fine with that. Uh, there's no reason. And you know what? Let's let these guys leave. They can take that province. And then we're going to take their province and then destroy these two divisions. All right, let's go ahead and have... I uh, don't actually... I want you guys to go there. And I want you guys to go ahead and push forward here. Okay. Getting getting our tanks moving uh, across here. Should hopefully get that wrapped up. We should probably take a look at Indochina as well. Uh, see how things are going on that front. Uh, which would be... Oh, and the American front. I don't ever pay attention to this damn front. Still tagging there. All right, so nothing's really happened there. All right, so n no movement here. So I guess it's fine that I have been not paying attention to it. Uh, and here we go. I'm trying to destroy that uh, Spanish fleet here. All right, having some difficulty on that front. And what happened over here? Can't click on it. I'm seeing it starred. All right, looks like sunk a convoy there. All right, so yeah, we wanted to dip back over to here. See how things are going, make sure our troops continue to attack. Looks like we are pushing forward, but we did not cut them off. Well, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, that's not how I wanted to see that go. Yeah. Uh, whenever the AI controls this shit, they always muck it all up. See if we can't get um, these guys going here and cutting them off. You know what? Let's go this way instead. See if they can't cut them off there. Could result in them getting cut off as well, so that could end up being an issue. Uh, and another a Spanish destroyer. Awesome. So the Spanish currently have a total of maybe 70-something ships. Uh, same thing with the Italians, maybe 70-something, 80-something ships. Uh, so really getting their fleet sunk. All right, let's see how things are going along this front. Uh, it seems we're pushing forward across it. And Patton's been wounded. Oh, no. It's devastating. I don't know where you guys are going. Come on over here, though. Uh, so we are going to want to... Go ahead and make sure that we're managing our naval bases so they repair in the larger ones. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because really we're just we're involved in this battle, and that's what we want to focus on right now. Let's go ahead and push forward over here. These these don't help towards getting them to capitulate since those aren't their provinces, I want to say. Oh, no, these are these are core states. Never mind. I was thinking we'd already gone into Italian. Macedonia has capitulated. Not surprising. Uh, I could have helped over here. I was kind of hoping that... Oh, hmm. Yeah, the, the Soviets are already here pretty deep. Yeah, I was thinking that the Soviets would take care of all this front, and, and they're doing pretty good. Now that we're in the conflict, you're seeing they're pushing forward. The Italians had to push a lot of, take a lot of divisions off, uh, probably to cover their ports, I would assume. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing with all their divisions, but they've got to be doing something with them, because I'm not seeing them here anymore. All right, guys, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the episode here. We get an attack over this way, I don't think we'd win. Oh, we would. All right, they must be having supply issues. French are almost knocked out, guys. They are currently 70% Dutch capitulation. I wanted to take a look at the casualties. We lost 328,000. 294, that was to Spain. 275 was just in that one battle. Uh, 15,000 to the French. Uh, looking at other countries, Philippines have already lost 23,000. Good God. All right, not entirely sure how that happened. 
or they got sunk in the sea. 3.16 million lost by the Soviets already. 1.2 of that to the Austria-Hungary. Uh, almost a million to Italy. 200 something thousand to the, the Turks. Uh, Germany has already taken 69,000 casualties from Austria-Hungary. We need to take a look at the German front. Colombians not doing so well. They're about to capitulate. Uh, and 11,000 casualties here in China, one of the China, one of the Chinese uh, states. The Mexicans have already lost 183,000. China, 247. That's the People's Republic of China. Uh, France has lost 500,000 casualties. We've done 439,000. That Spain has lost 210,000. We did 194,000 of that. Uh, Venezuela, 20k. Austria, Hungary, 70, 760k. As you can see, the the casualties we've lost like far more than they have. Uh, we lost a total of 4.2 million, and they lost 700, or to total of uh, 2.56 million. I forgot we got two factions here. Uh, so definitely doing better in the casualties. Fielded manpower, we're about equal. This is actually a pretty equal conflict, uh, and it's going all the way across the world, so pretty big. Last thing I wanted to take a look at here is the total ship sunk here. Since we started, it would just be just this month here. Uh, I like that there's these cool noteworthy battles here, which are always interesting. But what we want to look at is the current month. So for the current month, We've lost a total of 17 destroyers. Well, they have lost 104 destroyers. Most of those are Italians, but some uh, Spanish ones as well. We lost one submarine. They've lost 15. Most of those are, I think it looks like they're all Spanish. We've lost two total cruisers. They've lost 17 cruisers. We lost one heavy ship. That was our battleship. They lost two battleships. Uh, and then convoys, we lost 17. They've lost 249. So definitely winning the naval war so far. Did want to show you guys that, show you how it's going. Uh, I'll get all these cleared up. These are, these are all just convoy battles, just us thinking mostly spanish convoys i would assume some of these are troop convoys as well uh probably going across here this is probably where we did the majority of the damage to the uh you know we killed 270 something th thousand spanish i don't think that was on the gibraltar uh that just yeah i don't even know what happened there man that was devastating lost an entire army good god all right didn't expect it but yeah uh good show uh spain i respect it it's going to get those divisions destroyed at tobruk uh, push forward here. I don't know if they'll be able to do it, actually. They're having some difficulty. Might need to send some more divisions over here just to get that done. Yeah, there we go. It's green now. Excellent. So it'll get them destroyed, or they'll go out the port. Not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. Uh, we're, we were tempted to let those guys leave uh, so we could you know, take the port, but that didn't work because, you know, our allies messed it up. Messed it up royally. Such a shame. So now we got this weird-ass front over here that needs to get dealt with. All right, uh, and pushing forward is over here as well. Not really even needed. I don't really want to. I just took it because there wasn't nobody there defending it. Uh, sunk convoys across here too. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Our first episode of War with the French and Italian Factions. Uh, so far, it's a mixed bag. Uh, you know, we've we've had our, our major victories, of course, and we do have a lot of troops over here that need to get assigned. I'll do that next episode. Did have our major victories, obviously, France for winning in France. Uh, we're about to get them knocked out, and then Spain will stand alone for the most part. They'll be the only major power, I think, of their faction. Let me just take a look at who we need to defeat here. Uh, yeah, just France and Spain needs to be defeated, and then that knocks out Peru and Venezuela as well. Uh, here we have to knock out just uh, Italy and Austria-Hungary. That's it, and that you know defeats the whole faction. So once we've defeated France, we'll be able to invade Italy and Spain. Uh, we have two armies here, and plus we have another army up here as well uh, that's currently training up. So we'll have three armies to handle these tasks here for us, uh, the invasions of Spain and Italy. Uh, and then we also have uh, more divisions here in America that we'll be able to get sent over here as well. So we'll send those to help us out in Europe. Wrapping up this, once we finish up the North Africa, we'll invade Gibraltar again, try and revenge ourselves there. Uh, once these guys finish up here, uh, well, we got to take out Iraq. Uh, and in addition to that, we have to take out Turkey. So a lot of battle going on there still. Uh, taking a look at, you know, once we finish up here, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We could invade Siam and Burma so that we can invade into India. That's an option. Uh, something to consider. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the end of the episode. Uh, and look at all these damn convoys we have sunk. All right, doing a fantastic job. That's mostly, that's all our bombers, too. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.